Potassium, like sodium, belongs to group one. You can see that potassium is lower than sodium in the periodic table. And that means that it's even more reactive than sodium is. And like sodium, it reacts with water to produce a base, this time potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. We're going to view that. Here we can see a piece of potassium. Again, the potassium is very reactive, and so it forms an oxide around it. Potassium oxide here can be seen as a black layer around the thing. And then you can see a bit of shininess showing through there, and that's the potassium itself. Now we're going to add a little piece of potassium to water, and we're going to see that the potassium is going to float on the water because all alkali metals are less dense than water. It's going to react very violently. You can see it's a thermic reaction, and you get a purple flame. And hydrogen was produced there, and the hydrogen exploded in the, in the oxygen as it ignited. Let's take another piece and see another one. <laughs> Again, we take another piece of potassium, and you see it reacting with a purple flame.